Hello, my name is Jesus Lobo Malgarejo, and I'm going to present you my work studying catastrophic forgetting in neural ranking models. This work is in collaboration with Doc Soulier, Karen Pinel Sauvagna, Elinda Tamin from the laboratories of IGRIS in Toulouse and Lipschitz in Paris. In the current literature, we found that there exist many models that train a search engine focused on a single or multiple datasets obtaining an acceptable performance. These models handle the needs of a user in the form of queries. A user may be interested, for example, in different topics which are related to different datasets. Moreover, we can interrupt multiple users that are interested in many topics. This setup has two main limitations. Ideally, we would like to have a search engine that is able to adapt to new fields in a continuous mode. However, to achieve this, first, we need to have all domains at the learning phase, which is uncommon in a real-world scenario because new topics or datasets are created constantly. And second, we could use some domain adaptation techniques such as fine-tuning to profit the transferability of knowledge from a previous trained model. This is, given a neural trained model initially trained on domain 1, we can fine-tune it with the training data of domain 3, in a future and eventually with domain 2. The problem arises when we encounter a domain one in a future query. We will find a drop in the initial performance when testing an old dataset. This is known as the catastrophic forgetting problem. So in order to solve this problem, we expect to adapt the model to new domains or datasets without affecting the performance of the previous one. To overcome this problem, we make use of the lifelong learning strategies. Among the strategies proposed in the state of the art, we find three main classes. First, the network expansion strategy that adds or combines layers from models trained on different domains. The memory models, which learn some function to regenerate the data from previous domains or keep some representative sample of the already seen data. And the regularization method, which constrains the loss function with an forget cost term, regularizing each parameter when learning a new domain. The most known method for this type is elastic weight consolidation. For instance, take a look in the image. We can see the low error space from initial task A of the gray area and for a second task B of the white area. We see that without penalty, we can jump into the white area for B but damaging the performance made for A. Also, we notice that applying some constant penalty term to all parameters, the green arrow, makes the penalization more restrictive and so it damages both performance. When applying EWC, we can recognize the most important parameters for the task and so we can customize the penalization. So, we can summarize the main contributions of the paper by asking three research questions. The first one, does catastrophic forgetting occur in neural ranking models? With this question, we want to test if the proposed models in the literature can handle the catastrophic forgetting problem by default. The next research question, what, what are the dataset characteristics that predict catastrophic forgetting? With this question, we want to identify the relevant signals from the datasets that can help us to anticipate the presence or not of the catastrophic forgetting problem. And the last research question is if a regularization-based lifelong learning method is effective to mitigate the catastrophic forgetting in neural ranking models. With this question, we want to know if applying a lifelong learning strategy such as EWC can mitigate the problem. In our work, we consider different domains of different datasets, which are characterized by different data distributions with respect to their source and content. We work with three datasets, MS Marco, Trek Microblog, and Trek Core 19. These datasets fill the requirements of cross-domain adaptation since they have significant difference in both their content and source. The models used for our evaluation are separated in two main groups, the classical neural network approaches, such as deep relevance matching model, kernel-based neural ranking model, and position-aware convolutional recurrent relevance matching, and the base transformer model, such as BERT, or vanilla BERT, and Contextualized embeddings for document rankings, CEDR, which is a combination or adaptation of BERT and KNRM. Often, neural ranking models use a linear combination from a score obtained with a classic ranking method, for example, PM25, 
and an inner neural score obtained by the model. In our, our analysis, we make use of this combined score, but we also analyze the neural score by itself. Our setup is the following. At first, we have a sequence of data sets, which can be of length two or three, and a given model. And in the first step, we compute an Oracle score, which is given by a classical framework with speech training and test on the same data set. As a second step, we make use of the fine tuning technique by retraining a model that has previously learned from another data set. Then we compute the performance obtained for this new data set. This is what we call the forward transfer. And finally, we compute the performance obtained from the previous data set. We call this the backward transfer. In order to compare the performance of the model, we defined some metrics proposed, such as the backward transfer. It will essentially look for the performance score obtained on the older test sets for fine-tuned models. We normalize these scores by the score obtained from the Oracle. The backward transfer metric can have positive value when the model does not forget but increases performance, and negative value when the model forgets or drops its previous performance. To have a better reading of the forgetting of each model, we use the remembering metric, which will place the score in a 0-1 range, where if the rank metric is a 0, means that the model has forget, and 1 that the model did not forget its previous domain. The results for our first research question search to tell whether or not the neural ranking models are affected by the catastrophic forgetting problem. In the following table, we see the results for each model. In general, we have tested the five models with four different strings of data sets, which are MS Marco Core 19, MS Marco Microblog, Microblog Core 19, and the combination of the three data sets MS Marco Microblog Core 19. Also, in this table, we are analyzing the fine tuning technique. For it, we calculate the performance ratio. Notice of PR in the last column of the table. It shows the model performance of the last data set after learning it. Moreover, we show the relative improvement in the map score based on the score of the model trained and tested on the same data set, that is the first data set of the series. We now take a closer look to the performance ratio matrix. Let me simplify it for you. Each row is a different model as before, and each column represents a different data set stream. From the values of the performance ratio, we can see that all of, this, all of them are over 96, showing that the fine-tuned models are successful on the, on the right data set. This gives us a good ground to now analyze the forgetting in these streamings. Now I'm showing you the improvements of the maps. There I show you the value of the map considering a global score. That is the linear combination of the BM25 score and the neural score, and in parentheses only the neural score. We can put special detail in the models BERT and CEDR. These models are the only ones that show an improvement with respect to the global score, especially when the microblog dataset is the first one. We can interpret these results by saying that those models can bring new and more knowledge in the form of semantic matching signals than BM25. When analyzing the delta REM and map of the tables, we see that the CDR model achieves a positive improvement with respect to the global score in three of the four streaming datasets. This happens especially when MS Marco is the first dataset. The same applies to the FEA-CR model, where microblog is the first dataset. We can say that the PM25 model cannot extract much knowledge compared to the CDR model and partially to the PACR model. They both can extract more in terms of sem semantic matching signals. However, this comes with the cost of significant forget in the global ranking for CDR and the neural ranking, the one in parentheses for P A C R R. Also, from the delta rem of the neural score, the one in parentheses, we can see the transformers based model are the ones with higher values. This can be explained by the fact that the regularization in transformer based models helps to alleviate catastrophic forgetting. More interesting, we see that when the rem is equals to one, 
is obtained when uh, the MS Marco is the left data set. We can interpret these results if we consider that the semantic matching signal found by the neural models for a specific domain knowledge do not affect the performance of the general domain knowledge. Also, we find that there is no significant improvement in the global score, which says that little or non-semantic matching signals are obtained from the first data set. So the ranking performance of the fine-tuned model on the first data set only depends on the level of mismatch between the data in the new data set for training and the old data set for test. Now we attack the second research question. In order to solve this question, we prepared a regression model to explain the rank metrics with the data set characteristics. For this, we use nine data set characteristics and proposed this regression model. In this table, we can see the results obtained from the regression. Uh, I can summarize for you the main findings, which are that, that the regression model can explain 54% of the variation of the rent metric uh, with a level of prediction of 70%. Of 70%. From the independent variables, we can infer that the difficulty of the data set affects the rent metric. This is the lower the relevance density and the effective, effectiveness of the BM25 system map and the higher the variation of the BN25 performance shows also a um, higher value of the run metric. This shows us that the difficulty of the data set makes the neural model to adapt better and, general, and generalized representations that will help to deal with different application domains. Finally, with the last research question, we want to see if the elastic weight consolidation technique will help to mitigate the catastrophic forgetting problem in this kind of setup. <clears throat> the table shows us the obtained results. Now we show the delta rand column that will compare the remembering when, you, when using the fine tuning method and the EWC method. We see that in almost all configurations, REMS is improved. So we can show that the EWC method is effective. Also, we can see that the performance decreased only for two configurations. So we could, we could say that also EWC is not impacted by the dataset order. Now, if we give a special look to the performance ratio column, I put a symbol for you in this table, we can see that the performance is still over 96 in a global view. So the improvement in remembering does not come with the cost of forgetting. Um, if we see um, a specific example, like CDR, we can say that it suffers from the catastrophic forgetting from the previous research question one. We can see in this table, in the second row, the performance ratio compared when using fine tuning and when using EWC method. We can see that the peer is stable, it doesn't vary a lot. And also we have a lot of gaining in the delta rem and also in the REM neuronal. So we can see that CDR improves both REM while maintaining performance ratio stable. This is this recalls us the property of the stability plasticity dilemma. So the conclusions learned from this work are the following. Neural ranking models come at the cost of forget. The more it learns, the more it forgets. Transformer-based models allow us a good balance between effectiveness and remembering. And also, we didn't found no clear trend about which ranking, BM25 or neural ranking, impacts more importantly the level of overall catastrophic forgetting of neural model. We found that relevance matching difficulty provides positive feedback signals to the neural model to face the virtual learning instance, and therefore to better generalize over different application domains. Elastic weight consolidation strategy, which is uh, the lifelong learning uh, method used for this study, mitigates the catastrophic forgetting problem while ensuring a good trade-off between transferability and plasticity.